now we will discuss on the formaldehyde as fixative in histology. Before that, let us know in brief about fixation and fixatives. The concept of fixation of biological tissues is in order to understand biological function and structure has led to the development of many types of fixatives. The major objective of fixation in pathology is to maintain clear and consistent morphological features. It helps to preserve cells and tissue components in a lifelike state and to preparation thin sections for staining. Fixation of tissues can be achieved by physical or chemical means. Physical methods include heating, microwaving and cryopreservation or freeze drying. Chemical fixation is usually achieved by immersing the specimen in the fixative which is called as immersion fixation. Fixative solutions may contain a single fixative agent dissolved in a solvent such as water or alcohol or more commonly, a buffer solution to stabilize pH. Formaldehyde fixative is a solution of formaldehyde in water, typically at a concentration of 10%. It is the most widely used fixative in histology because it is effective, inexpensive, and easy to use. It works by cross-linking proteins, which prevents them from decomposing and preserves the structure of the tissue. Pure formaldehyde is a vapor that, when completely dissolved in water, forms a solution containing 37 to 40% formaldehyde called formalin. Usually, 10% formalin is used in fixation of tissues. It contains about 4% weight to volume of formaldehyde. Let us see the reasons for the use of formalin as fixative. It is widely used fixative in histological laboratories. It is very effective in preserving the structure of tissues so that they can be examined under a microscope. It is used to prevent tissues from decomposing. It makes tissues more rigid so that they can be sectioned more easily. It enhances the staining of tissues. Formalin may be used in two forms neutral buffered formalin and unbuffered formalin. Neutral buffered formalin is most widely used fixative. It is the most common type of formaldehyde fixative. It is buffered to maintain a neutral pH, which helps to prevent the formation of artifacts. For routine histology, 10% neutral buffered formalin is frequently used for initial fixation and for the first station on tissue processes. Neutral buffered formalin is composed of a 10% solution of phosphate buffered formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is commercially supplied as a 37 to 40% solution. The composition of neutral buffered formalin is as follows. Other buffered formalin solutions are also available. These are Carson's modified Milanix phosphate buffered formalin, formalin buffered solutions of sodium chloride or zinc chloride. 10% formalin actually represents 10% of the 37 to 40% stock solution. The actual amount of dissolved formaldehyde in the 10% formalin is therefore only 3.7 to 4.0%. There is another type of formaldehyde fixative which is not buffered, and it can have a pH that is too acidic or too basic. When formaldehyde dissolves in an unbuffered aqueous solution, it forms an acid solution, pH 5.0 to 5.5, because 5 to 10% of commercially available formaldehyde is formic acid. Acid formalin may react more slowly with proteins than neutral buffered formalin because amine groups become charged. Acid formalin also preserves immunorecognition much better than neutral buffered formalin. However, this can damage tissues and make them difficult to stain.
The advantages of formalin are as follows. It is effective at preserving tissue structure. It is inexpensive and easy to use as well as widely available. Its disadvantages are that it is toxic substance. It can damage DNA and RNA. It may interfere with some immunohistochemical staining techniques. Safety precautions are essential when working with formalin due to its hazardous properties. Now let us see the safety precaution to be followed while using formalin. Firstly, personal protective equipment, PPE, such as gloves, lab coats, and safety goggles should be worn to prevent direct contact with formalin. Working in a well-ventilated area or using a fume hood helps minimize exposure to formaldehyde vapors, which can cause respiratory irritation and other health issues. Additionally, formalin should be handled with care to prevent spills, and any spills should be promptly cleaned up using appropriate absorbent materials. Proper labeling of containers, as well as storing formalin in a dedicated, secure location away from incompatible chemicals, reduces the risk of accidents. Regular training on safe handling procedures and emergency protocols ensures that personnel are prepared to respond effectively in case of exposure or accidents involving formalin. One common alternative to formalin as a tissue fixative is glutaraldehyde. Glutaraldehyde offers advantages such as better preservation of ultrastructure in electron microscopy and reduced tissue shrinkage compared to formalin. Another option is ethanol, particularly for preserving tissues intended for molecular biology studies. Other alternatives include paraformaldehyde and zinc formalin which may have specific applications or benefits depending on the desired tissue preservation characteristics. However, it's important to assess the specific requirements of the experiment or procedure to determine the most suitable alternative to formalin. The fixation time with formalin can vary depending on several factors, including the size and type of tissue being fixed, the intended downstream applications, and the specific protocol being followed. In general, small tissue samples may require shorter fixation times, typically ranging from 12 to 24 hours, while larger tissue specimens may necessitate longer fixation periods, sometimes JavaScript, void, zero, up to 48 hours or more. However, overfixation can also occur, leading to tissue hardening and reduced staining quality. Therefore, it's essential to follow established protocols and guidelines for fixation time specific to the tissue type and experimental requirements to achieve optimal results.